Border Initiative. You can read more about his visit on BorderReport.com. Well, happening today, Congressman Vicente Gonzalez will be in Harlingen. He'll be at City Hall at 10 a.m. and you're invited. Representative Gonzalez plans to give an update on the legislative action being taken on Capitol Hill to help South Texans, including District 34 residents. He's also going to talk about different projects in South Texas and his remaining priorities for this congressional session. Well, if you're looking to do a little shopping for unique antique and home goods, then you're going to love what Danielle's bringing us today. Oh, yeah. Do you happen to like garage sailing, Adam? I have not garage <laughs> sold. Sold. Yeah, but I've been to. You need to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to be pretty interesting because this is basically all one giant one happening in the valley. That sounds fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, basically, um, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I that's agree. what we're going by, Adam. <laughs> and that's especially the case at this event, okay? Because the City of Edinburgh Parks and Recreation proudly is presenting the community garage sale, and everyone's invited to head on out there and roam around for a special shopping adventure. Now, think of it like a giant thrift opportunity but all at one location you can definitely bring the whole family out there too it's family friendly there's gonna be various items up for grabs and perhaps best of all entrance to the event is absolutely free of charge I know Adam loves that price <laughs> making it super convenient for you to just go have a great time looking around there's gonna be over 40 different vendors on site and that means that you're gonna be able to dig through some really cool stuff there and garage sailing can be a super fun experience I mean more and more people do it every single year in fact according to AWP now.com almost 700,000 people purchase items at individual garage sales annually with the average price of regular items being about 85 cents, believe it or not. And this one is going to be a great one for all our Rio Grande Valley community because it's going to be lots of people, uh, you know, just all their items all together at one location for you to go through. And apparently Saturdays are historically the best days for high turnout when it comes to garage sales with a 7 a.m. start time being apparently the most profitable in the record. So pretty cool that we can send most of the day out there at this event for a great time. Now this one's all happening at Edinburgh Park and Recreation Center in Edinburgh. You're going to have it from 8 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon to go and check it out. You can call the number on your screen or visit any of the social media pages for the city of Edinburgh for all the details that you're going to need to know about for that day with some really cool finds again at this community garage sale. Now I'm really excited about this guys because typically at these events you can find stuff that no one else has. Yeah, I mean, doesn't true. that sound fun? Oh yeah, you get some cool unique finds. Yeah, definitely. Now you've been to these before. Yes, yeah. my family used to do yard sales a lot because my dad's in the army, so we moved a lot. And every time before we moved, we had to get rid of everything <laughs> that we didn't need anymore, so we didn't just keep taking it all with us. I am a huge proponent of garage sales, yard sales, any yeah. sort of thrifting because there's so many positives. First of all, you're you're helping the community. You know, potentially if you need to make some money, mm -hmm. you can sell some items. People can buy them. Uh, second of all, it's good for the environment. It means that we're not buying new items that are most likely going to get you know mm. thrown away or recycled. True. Um, where you know I, I might want your shirt or something like that, and being able to yeah. buy that, and it's cheap. Eighty-five cents is the average price. The, uh, believe it or not. And you I said know. free. A free event. <laughs> I know. Your favorite price. Yeah. My no, it's, it's a good way to go sell some stuff <laughs> too because we all have stuff that we've moved from one place to another mm -hmm. and it keeps coming with us and we don't even get it yep. out of like a closet or a box or something like that. Yes, yeah. So it's a good way to mm -hmm. get rid of some, some stuff. And is that Water. this Saturday? That is this Saturday and it's going to happen from 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Nice. So, good time. One man's junk is another man's treasure. I know. Right. Jessica, if you ever get rid of that dress, it's beautiful. <laughs> 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 My dress will not be at the yard sale, but hopefully we won't see any rain at the yard sale. Unfortunately, the next three days looking like we're going to have pretty significant chances for rain. Once again, thanks to that tropical disturbance in the Gulf. Remember, we do not have a storm out there right now. We're tracking to see if it gets named.